Hi guys and welcome back to Let's Build a Kingdom and in today's episode we're going to finish off building the trade district as well as the castle grounds. But before we get to any building, like usual, we'll take a quick pan over the kingdom and showcase what we've built so far. There nestled in the corner you can see the first half of the trade district that we built last episode and behind that the various other buildings that we've built throughout the series so far. And these are the areas that we're going to be working on this episode to finish the trade district. So to begin with, you can see me marking out the structure of one large building on this first plot of land. Now this building is actually going to house three separate shops. And the way we're going to define the three separate shops is by building three peaks on the roof of the building. Here you can just see me in filling in the walls using a combination of stone bricks and some darker wooden planks. Next up, you can see me marking out the distances between the two, the three peaks. Just to give me a better idea in my head of how the peaks would look. Here you can see me adding in the other two of those peaks. And I think the effect really works. Now that the peaks of the roof are complete, it was time to give the front of the building some detail. So there you can see me filling in the gaps between the second floor and the peak of the roof, as well as framing the doorways and windows of the three separate shops. It was quite tricky to get this building looking just how I wanted it, but in the end I think I am just about managed it. The next order of business was to place six or seven smaller individual shops on the area opposite that three peaked roof building. So here you can see me mapping out the rough design of what each of those shops would look like. And with these shops I've gone for a very steep and tall roof, as you can see there. Now I've marked out the six, sorry, the seven shops, and I'm just using World Edit to paste them in, just to save a little bit of time. I wanted to go for a, a feeling of uniformity with these shops. Here you can see me just toying around with what material to use for those steep peaked roofs. And in the end I decided to go for that dark wooden plank. And I think the effect really works. And that was the trade district just about complete. So next it was time to move on to decorating the castle grounds. Now here on the left you can see me adding in a small forest. And I did this using the slash add forest command on world edit. And that gave a fairly dense but manageable forest in the front of the grounds. And on the right, 
I decided to give our castle grounds a maze. And there you can see me adding in that center point of the maze. And from there, working backwards. Now as we move slightly closer towards that maze, you can really see the complexity of the design and I hope you'll agree that it, it really works and it gives those castle grounds that very classy sort of look that we're, we're going for. And there we have it. That's this episode complete. Here you can see us pan over the city for one final time, showcasing the areas that we've built throughout the series. And there's the trade district, finally complete. And as we spin around, you see the completed castle grounds, complete with forest and maze. So that about does it for this episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next time, I think we're going to tackle the cathedral of our city. And until then, until then take care. Bye.